Hello again, everybody. Today I'd like to talk about some of the bad engineering designs uh, that uh, they do um, at Case and uh, Mustangs, uh, or just about anybody that does heavy equipment uh, equi stuff. They need to stop over engineering uh, this, uh, these equipment so that farmers and construction people in the field can fix them easily without having to take them to some specialty shop and pay thousands of dollars uh, so that, uh, they have to comp uh, connect it to a computer and whatnot. That's not necessary. First of all, uh, as I mentioned on a previous uh, video, cylinders should not be mounted so that the uh, top part of the rod is at the top like this. They should always be angled downward so that that rod should have been placed on the opposite side over here. Uh, and the reason for that is so it, it doesn't get water infiltration. This rag is here to prevent water uh, infiltration. As you notice these cylinders that move the bucket, they're tilted downward. That's the way they should be so that the water just runs down and doesn't go past this seal. Okay. Um, see what else do they do wrong when uh, they're supposed to be engineers here's another one uh, the pins that hold these cylinders on they shouldn't be uh, fitted with such close tight tolerances because then they become impossible next to impossible to remove you almost have to destroy them this is a classic case where I had to cut on both sides of the pin and even then, I couldn't press those uh, uh, cut pins out, okay? I had to drill through them and then run my uh, torch through them to burn them out. And that is shameful engineering. That needs at least 10 thousandths clearance, not uh, one or two thousandths like they uh, normally have. The top ones didn't have any problems. The pin came out okay. I replaced the pin down uh, here and even then uh, I ground it down a, a few thousands uh, to give it even more clearance. Another thing they do wrong, these crappy engineers, households, is this gland sealed here that uh, there's no excuse for making it that paper thin to where you can't grab it with a wrench. There is plenty of room on these cylinders uh, where they're installed that they uh, they couldn't have almost an inch thick gland sticking out to where you can put a wrench on it, even if they had a hex square all the way around, or flat surfaces, two or four flat surfaces, I don't care. But this is uh, outrageous. As you can see, when I uh, put this back, I didn't even tighten it all the way uh, to where it originally was. It didn't need it. I'm not going to fight it getting it off the next time and as you can see it doesn't leak at all it hasn't leaked since I replaced the seal almost uh, a couple years ago um, let's see what else did they do wrong they make pens too tight they're stupid uh, cylinders should always be uh, tilted downward these uh, cylinders on the boom are, are wrong as you can see I have to keep the boom down to keep water from going in there. Now, had they put this on the other side, I wouldn't have had that problem, okay? I could keep the boom up, which a lot of them do uh, when they park them. But if you're gonna park them and you wanna keep the waters out and you have this cylinders on this side, uh, the top of the boom, then you're gonna have to put a rag on it, which uh, keeps the water out. Uh, it deflects the water. Okay, here's another one. See what are the, this one here that uh, moves the front arm for digging. Uh, I have plastic wrapped around it. That's to keep the water from uh, seeping through the seals here. Uh, on the end, this one, this cylinder is correctly mounted. It has the rod at the bottom, okay? So even if this arm is up, it'll still drain nicely. Okay, um, I don't see anything wrong with the bucket. The bucket is fine. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Oh yeah, windows. Why do you make such stupid design windows uh, with such fancy design? You know, there's no excuse for that. They should all be nice and straight so they're easy to replace and install. Um, this one isn't too bad. I had an excavator that had the uh, some kind of semicircle on the side and a, a windshield wiper mounted on there. Uh, that's also foolish. And everything should be designed so that water runs off and away from it. Uh, other things that they screw up on is the fuel line should have a better cock on it so uh, it, it's not so fragile that it breaks. Um, and there should be an emergency method or way of shutting down the engine should you have a runaway situation with the diesels. Um, oh yeah. Here you see um, a radiator uh, that originally came with a built-in uh, oil cooler uh, in there, hydraulics oil cooler. I added my own second one. The original one started leaking and I wasn't about to pay 400 bucks for a stupid radiator uh, when all I needed was something I could get for like $50, like this one. And uh, did my own fittings and uh, that solved that. You know, yeah, they're trying to save space, but what for? This is a big giant machine. It doesn't need to be uh, uh, like a laptop where everything is condensed. You're not going into space. Um, uh, fuel lines should also have uh, one of those glass filters so you could see the water level that's in them, if there is any. All right, there's a tachometer in there that's uh, not working and uh, the diagrams they give you in their manual are shit. Uh, there's no way of telling where it gets the signal uh, or how to uh, fix it if it doesn't work uh, properly. So that's it. Um, oh yeah, I, before I forget, the bucket. Why is it made so foolishly? There's no way of telling when uh, when the front of this bucket is level. Yeah, they had a cockamamie uh, connecting rod over here at, at uh, on this side at one time, but uh, they need something on this bucket. I don't care if it's a, a float bubble or or what, so you can see when it's level or some kind of indicator, uh, a switch of some kind that would uh, activate when it's level. It's hard to tell, uh, you know, you're, you're constantly guessing which makes you work a little harder. All right, um, let's see. It would be nice also if the, the, the fill uh, holes for the hydraulics and the uh, fuel were made as wide as a funnel is, meaning eh, anything over two inches in diameter, three it would be better, and four would be even better, and a cap that size. So you're not constantly having to uh, get a funnel uh, to fill it. Okay. Thank you.